Hello, welcome back to part number two of uh, Champions Mode. Next up we have got Sebastian Vettel that we need to try and beat. Uh, so this episode will be Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Michael Schumacher and then racing them all together. So hopefully you will enjoy uh, as this is another substitute video for league racing not happening tonight because I am still away on my holidays oh and Seb definitely don't look like that but for else shoulders are well square first and second looks to be on the cards for Red Bull but it's too tight to predict which of Red Bull's drivers will actually win this race Vettel crosses the line and now his teammate in hot pursuit both have traded wins and fastest laps this season, and neither consider victory complete without the fastest lap of the race, too. Right then, so we've just got to beat Seb. He's a bit further down the road at the minute, so we'll skip ahead so you can see where we get past Seb. Well, if we get past Seb, I should say. So slowly catching him. Setting faster and faster laps. Uh, yeah. We keep getting closer and closer now in the distance. Till lap 67. We are on the back of him. Just set another fastest lap. Um, we should get DRS. Yeah, we've got DRS. So, probably use a bit of curves as well when we get a bit closer. Only a little bit because it sounds like we're at full revs anyway. So, we're just going to break a little bit later. Roll the car next to him so we're side by side and then they're going to take him to the hairpin. And then the power past him. And fast forward a little bit later on. Across the line. So that's that challenge completed for Sebastian Vettel. So that was fastest lap and win the race, which we've managed to do. Sebastian Vettel cut a subdued figure after the race today, probably wondering where it all went wrong. Leading his teammate, it was all looking so positive. Right, so the next one is Fernando Alonso. Going for gold again, so not hard, difficult uh, yeah, that looked a bit more like Fernando. Here we are for the Italian Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso is on pole position, much to the delight of the crowd and the Ferrari team. He says he's determined to win this one and would love to finish 1-2 with his teammate, who sits in 7th place. Everything is possible though, as the lights come on and we prepare for the start. Right, so... Here we are. Starting down in 7th, so... Try and use curves off the line. But, I think everyone else might be as well, because they're kind of pulling away now. So just try and go a bit cautiously. We tap Mark Webber there, but nothing really happened. Uh, so we made up one position through the first couple of corners, just taking our time. Should be able to pick Lewis Hamilton off here. So now we're up into fifth. Um, oh, nearly ran into the back of Mark Webber. Lost the rear end a bit there, unfortunately. So now it's just about catching up the top four again. And um, making sure that they... Uh... Well, I think you just need it so Fernando finishes behind you. I don't think it has to actually be a win. I don't think it does anyway. But skipping forward again.
Yes, as we are now towards the end. Well, we're literally on the last corner. Um, across the line. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually beat from there the challenge, so we're going to have to redo it. Because obviously the idea is we want gold medals, and I don't know if we would get one. Uh, so let's restart it. On the grid again. Monza. This time I'm going to put the engine straight up to Rich and use curves straight away. And that's a low, that's such a better start. We're literally just overtaking everyone. Seventh to second we are now. Let's see if we can get Fernando as well, which we can. So, seventh to first, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good going. Now, uh, which hopefully defend, but we haven't got any curves left, so we can't defend this lap, but I'm sure we will be able to do it a bit later on. So, fast forwarding again, we are here on lap number five. Jensen Button is behind us now, instead of Fernando Alonso in third, so things have changed around there so this is DRS here so we're going to use our curves up to defend from Jensen who's got DRS he's going to get a run on us we just a about thing. keep it there I think unfortunately Jensen got pushed a bit off track but we didn't get a penalty or anything so we can carry on now let's just hope that Fernando doesn't use his, all the cars he's got left or anything on us around these last corners. It does look quite close. Yeah, he is definitely close. So I reckon if we had one more lap, I really reckon he actually probably could have beat us with his DRS and cars, but he didn't. So we have completed that challenge. Ferrari will leave this track a very happy team, so especially since both their drivers were able to finish in the we top are now spots. The team couldn't have asked two any tenths more of their Fernando drivers Fernando finished in the end. Uh, yeah, that was about it really. Jensen finished third in the end, so he didn't lose out too much after we kind of squeezed him a little bit. But moving on now to Michael Schumacher, the main man himself, Michael. Put it on hard, and we shall go again. Michael Schumacher, who is on lap 50 of 56, has just gone by. His car is definitely easier on its tyres than his teammate, who I can see in the pit. Yes, he's had to stop again. Disaster, surely. This may well have ruined his race. He's going to have to put qualifying lap after qualifying lap in if he's going to have any chance of taking something from this weekend. Right. So, here in the Mercedes, in Malaysia, we'll skip forward to a point where we've got some action going on. So we are worked our way up to P6 so far. We are behind Mark Webber, but we're not anymore. So, we should be there or thereabout. So we're behind Hamilton now, uh, after we fast forwarded a bit, only got Michael just in front of Lewis, I thought we were going to go for a move there on Lewis, but we kept it so we might get a bit of a better exit here or we're just going to send one up the inside near left, but we've got him, we kind of did what we did with Jensen, we just kind of squeezed him out towards the edge of the track so we have to back off a bit. Um, now we can get Michael here. Oh, it's quite close because if you touch each other in this, um, 
you, you get disqualified from like challenge for crashing into a champion or something. So yeah. Let's carry on. And hopefully we can get them back for the end. So we haven't got a DRS. But Hamilton does in front. And he's got past Michael. So he is caught napping in a way by his there. There's a fly around his outside, but I reckon his tyres are pretty knackered at this point. That's why everyone else is uh, going by him. Using up the curves. Can we get past Hamilton? Yes, we can. So we used to get around the outside. And then we're in P2. I think it's Kimmy. Oh no. It's uh, Sebastian in the lead, but Seb's going to win anyway because he is too far in front of us. So Seb wins, but we're going to come up across the line second. Most importantly, we beat Michael, so that is all good. There was just no stopping Michael Schumacher's Mercedes teammate today. Running on a better tyre strategy, he was able to catch Michael and pass him by the chequered flag. Right. We did it. Simply the best. Yes. Michael was very talented. And in 2012, he had quite a good season, I thought. Anyway. Moving on to the next one, and our final one, we have to take on all six champions. So here's the gang of imposters that are meant to be born on drivers. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what we're about to witness. Six world champions on the grid, six of the best drivers in Formula One, and one ambitious challenger. I can't see the outsider winning, but it's a one-off race, so who knows? Right, we're in the Williams against everyone else. Let's try and get a start like we had in Monza. That was straight away Rick's, uh, Rich Mix and you know, use all the curves off the start. Gonna go up the inside of all of them, but then it kind of comes into a sandwich, just like a four-wide situation. But we got through it. We've got Michael Schumacher behind us now, so that was a pretty good start. Now uh, we did actually manage to uh, hold on to all the positions. So skip it forward again. Ooh. Oh, a crash there, as you can see, but we carried on anyway. So, after a flashback and getting some corner cutting warnings, we are coming around. Right, so last gone up and we have beaten all of the champions in champions mode. So we should get like a platinum medal in a way. <laughs> but we don't, we do I think we just get another gold. So I think we found out the strategy for doing starts on this game. Straight up to Rich Mix. And use all your curves and you can get past people. World champions racing, we always knew today would be a special day. With so many champions on the track, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see one of them finishing first at the checkered flag. But it was the Williams driver who powered through the pack to take the race win. Yeah, that is it. We have got gold in this challenge as well, which is good. So let's go on. There you go, that's all the ones we did. 
now try and improve. How can I do that? I've got gold. Oh, nice little cutscene here. would make quite a good um, intro for some YouTube videos I reckon but that is it for today thank you for watching maybe if you want to see more from 2012 subscribe like put down in the comments your feedback I'll see you later thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>